First off, I apologize for my voice today. I'm sick, so I'm going to do my best to get through this. But we're going to show you how to do a custom helmet that you design yourself that we can use later on any of our pre-existing characters. Uh, what I did here, and I did mine in Photoshop. You can use Canva, whatever paint software you use. And I designed a very just basic drawing of a helmet. I did this off camera so the video wouldn't go too long, but it's just basic drawing. Once we have our image, we're going to bring it over into our Stable Diffusion program, Focus, and we're going to do an image input. Uh, set it to very subtle. We're going to use the setting of 1344 by 704. That's what we did our drawing at. It's, it's better if you do match those. And then this is how we're going to set up our styles here just to help get some detail. Um, a very basic prompt. Um, we'll probably add to it as we go along, but we're going to start pretty simple here. So we'll uh, go ahead and bring our image over in here, and we're going to generate it a couple of times. And remember, uh, with this, this process, we always take our finished image and bring it back down as the new image prompt. Now we're going to wait for it to run a few times here, and uh, I sped this up so we don't have to wait on it. And you'll already see that it's starting to, uh, starting to clear the image up. So now that we've got that image, we're going to take it back over to Photoshop and we're going to do a little bit of detail work on it. Nothing major and you don't have to be an artist to do this, but we're going to add in some shadows and things like that to uh, one, speed along the process and two, make sure it's putting things where we want it. I'm going to add a little bit of reflection to the visor here. Um, that way the AI knows that that's glass. We may have to add that to our prompt later and um, then we're going to go back to focus and run that some more. Once you've added in the basic details that you want, we're going to uh, save that and that'll be our new image prompt. So now back over in focus, like I said, we'll import that and we're going to just generate this a couple more times. Now you might be looking at these saying, well, that's not much of a change, but when the change does happen, then the details will really come and they'll come fast and you'll get to see that here in just a second. And we did go ahead and add the word glass visor to our prompt. So we're going to run this over and over uh, a few times here. And then we're going to stop and take that back over to Photoshop again. Now, as you can see here, back over in Photoshop, um, you can see that it's actually starting to pick up some detail. It's given the, the material looks a little bit rough because we did have, you know, old and dirty in our prompt. But that's not even close to what we're wanting yet. So what we're going to do now is add some subtle details in like some dark shadowy spots, some highlights. And uh, then we're going to add in some scratches onto this. And this is where when it gets back over into focus where it'll really make a big change. So I just went on a basic internet search and typed in scratches texture. And uh, we're going to use that and paste it into our helmet. And you'll see how this works in a minute, but it's pretty awesome. Do make sure you erase the scratches from anything that you want to be shiny. So we're going to bring that image back over into focus. And this is where the fun really starts. Always remember, if you don't like the way something's looking... Don't drag down your image, just rerun it until you get one that you like because it's always going to be a slight variation. But you can really see here by adding the stuff that we just did over in Photoshop, the details really starting to jump out now. So I've pulled this image back over into Photoshop and it was originally red, so I just used the hue key and uh, change that back to red because that was what I wanted the helmet to be. Sometimes the AI will change colors on you if you don't specify and we didn't have red in the prompt but it's no big deal. And on the helmet these were supposed to be horns that's what I was looking for so we need to make a little bit of an adjustment here to tell the AI that that's supposed to be horns and we're probably going to have to add that to the prompt as well. I just took a darker red color and traced around where I wanted these to mount. So we're going to take it back over into focus now, and we should be able to finish up our project here. So now we're going to run this, and like I said, we're going to add horns to the prompt, and uh, after we run it a couple of times, that should clean that up pretty good. Now we got something that looks pretty good here. Um, I could run this several more times and keep cleaning it up, but for this video, I'm going to keep it short. So at this point, what we want to do is we're going to switch it over to uh, upscale and we're going to upscale by two 
and we're going to switch our performance key over to quality. And by the time it's done running this, we should have ourselves a pretty good looking helmet. Now the upscale will be the longest render we did because it's using a lot more resources and it's sampling a lot more, but it really clears the picture up a lot. So that's it. It's, uh, I'm going to consider it done and I'm going to show you in our next video how to take this helmet or any helmet or any accessory, whether it be, you know, a walkie talkie, a lightsaber, a baseball bat, whatever art you're working on. I'm going to show you how to add that to an existing character without losing your existing character. So thanks for uh, watching today and uh, we'd love it if you'd like or subscribe to the channel. And if you see something we can do better, let us know.